back in 2020, we were working with the Autobolt Reload project. Uh, we were supporting uh, the operator with heavy operations and also safety issues. And we wanted to remove him further away from, from the hazards. But we didn't do a lot when it comes to the operator environment uh, when working teleremote. We saw some room for improvement and we also saw that we need to look at new technology solutions. Essentially, we're trying to uh, recreate the mining environment for the operator, uh, for teleremote operation of the machine. We're creating a digital twin, uh, moving the mine context up to the mine operations uh, control room. And the digital twin consists of three datasets. Uh, we have one visualization of the machine, uh, so we know where it moves. When we move it, we can visualize it in a 3D model. On top of that, we have two different 3D scans. One fast LiDAR scan visualized as a point cloud, and then we have a, a really high definition 3D scan that has been made previously. We use all these three different data sets to recreate the mine context for the operator. And we can also mention that we're only adding things here, we're not taking anything away. So uh, apart from these new 3D features, uh, you also have the, um, the camera views. The 3D digital twin is one thing. We know where the mine is, we know where the machine is in relation to the mine. We know how close you are to the wall, for example. Uh, we can have collision control and, and things like that. The second part of it, uh, choosing to consume this data sets in virtual reality, adds the added benefit of, of getting a, a stereoscopic vision. You can also choose to take any vantage point in this environment, so you can choose to be in the cabin. Uh, or you can be, be on top of the cabin or actually inside the mountain as well or in front of the machine. Whatever gives you the best vantage point for what you're doing at the time. We have um, added operator assist features, which means that you can get some help in, in maneuvering the boom. So we can overlay graphical information, augmented reality on top of this, uh, to show you how close you are to the wall, for example, what angle you need to, to take on to, to do your job. The accuracy and the precision of the LiDAR data set is, is very accurate and, and we've demonstrated that uh, together with the camera views we can, we can really reach a level where the operator can perform his task at hand uh, and trust the system. By adding this system we're adding a lot of benefit. We are getting great feedback from operators that have tried this proof of concept. So we saw that it, it is all possible, but we're also seeing that it has some challenges. And it's possible to use this whole package and make a product out of it, but it's also possible to make products out of parts of it and use some part technologies that we've been reviewing also in this demonstration.